Monochrome, we're not so much into electronics, microchips and batteries when it comes to wristwatches. Still, we have to recognize the possibilities of electronics when it comes to measuring heart rates and other health indicators. MMT is at the forefront of these developments and they manage to integrate mechanical movements with these electronics. We're going to talk to main shareholder Peter Stas and the CEO of MMT, Philippe Fraboulet. MMT is the company that was spun out in 2016 and who's responsible for smart movements, the firmware, the apps and the cloud for Swiss smartwatches. We are still uh, the majority shareholder, so I just say a few words here as shareholder of this company and really about some exciting projects we have in the pipeline. So we see a number of very exciting developments, especially in the health field. We work together with Philips on their heart rate uh, suite of algorithms. Not only heart rate itself, but also heart rate variability, SpO2, VO2 max, and a number of other indicators. And these are being integrated in both the quartz-based, the electronic-based smartwatch movements, but we also have mechanical movements where we have a layer on top, and this layer has all the functionality, the smartwatch functionality, while the automatic is still laying below. And we did the first introduction uh, two years ago there with the first movement, which was a manufacture caliber, but now we are going to come with a more regular automatics and a lot of variability. We are able to make conographs like that, smaller second one, uh, bi-compax one. So a lot of creativity is going into, into these new hybrid movements. And hybrid then really means an automatic caliber with on top of it a smartwatch layer. So it really brings the world of smartwatches very close to the Swiss watch industry. Another important uh, development also is in the health area that we are working closely together with smaller algorithm developers, for example, on what is called AFIP. AFIP, first of all, you have normally the larger uh, peak in the heart rate, then there is a smaller one. And the smaller one, if there are irregularities, and there are about irregularities in 4 million people statistically here in the European Union. If that is uh, measured and, and diagnosed, you have 18% chance in four years time to get a stroke. And strokes are horrible for uh, people who have them, for the family around, but also uh, in terms of healthcare cost. The future really is, with this type of watches, that they are becoming a medical tool for people who have been positively diagnosed to keep track on a regular basis, on a continuous measurement uh, level, going in and out of AFIP and giving then the doctors much more insight in the well-being, in the health of the people who wear these watches. We see enormous opportunity there. Um, it really brings together health with watchmaking and I had a nice uh, discussion recently uh, with another journalist and who asked me what is now actually more important uh, that it is a mechanical watch that it is a beautiful Swiss watch or this whole health area and I answered there probably people will eventually choose health over prestige Among the uh, project that we have, we develop as well a new hybrid module based uh, on a standard uh, mechanical movement that we can find on market, like the Celita movement, with on top our smart layer based on our platform, the smartwatch platform that we are developing for many years now. For smartwatches, energy is a key, so we developed a solar watch uh, based on our platform that we have uh, developed for, for many years, our software platform, which is a low power consumption. We have developed uh, as well a, a custom solar panel and in partnering with a company expert in uh, energy harvesting, we are able to run now our smartwatch platform on the solar watch with full autonomy.